thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the song series. This is a video series where I am dedicating a song to each sign and this is a song that I believe best represents the energy of your sign. You know, as I've been doing the song series, it's been so amazing to me to find how accurately planetary energies are being channeled on this earth through our songs and our art and our film clips and our all kinds of creations, even our systems, our financial systems, all kinds of things. It's, it's just incredible how these energies influence us every day. So I'm going to do a quick recap on your sign. Before I do that, I'm just going to jump into my handy little diagram where I've been showing us, everybody, where we have ventured. So let's see, I'll just mark Aries here. So we were in Aries in springtime. We were here. And we have come all the way around through autumn time, winter, and we are now here. We have made quite a journey. If you've been with me from the beginning, from meeting that little boy in Aries, if you saw the Aries film clip, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. What a journey we have made. This has been epic. After this sign, we have just one more sign to go. And then we've completed the zodiac. We have done the hero's journey, you know, which we all come to earth to do. We do it many times within a lifetime and we do many lifetimes of doing a particular hero's journey. And of course, you are the hero of your life. You are the star of the show that is you. So Aquarius, if we do a quick recap on your sign, we will find that you are ruled by Saturn, like your fellow sign Capricorn who is just next door. And if there are any Capricorns who've decided to join us here, welcome. You've made a good choice to come and learn more about Aquarius because you'll find some similarities. Your element is air. You are symbolized by the water bearer. And your motto is, I universalize. And that's quite a motto. That's epic. That, that's, that's really big. How does that play out in a day-to-day -day sort of way? Well, we're going to try and explore some of that now. Uh, your sign originally rules the 11th house. This is uh, of networking, friends, humanity, humanitarians. Definitely a lot of humanitarians are seen coming out of this sign as well as Libra the seventh house and when I was in Libra I did mention Aquarius I did mention you guys because I think you and Libra have quite a lot in common you are also known quite famously as being the suit wearing hippie which I love I think that's a terrific phrase for you guys and what does that mean well that means that is you know that is the man at the board table who is sitting on the 30th floor of a large bank in the city and he, he does remember and feel for the homeless guy that he passed in the morning at the train station. You know, as he walked by that homeless guy at the train station, he did look, he did feel a pang in his heart he did think to himself, how can I help reconstruct society? How can I universalize? How can I make life so that things are a bit more equal and things are a bit more fair and things are a bit more real? You know, uh, this person has that consciousness. He has that open connection with the man on the street at all times. Even when he's sitting in that fancy office on the 30th floor, that, that homeless guy that he passed is not far away from him. You know, even so the suit-wearing hippie, you know, he is in the corporate world, but he is working for all of humanity. And he's 
within that corporate world trying to figure out how, what can I do here to get this old world to shift. And that's a big part of life right now. I think that's what a lot of us are trying to figure out how to do. Um, yeah, this is a topic that really fascinates me and I'm sure I might do other videos where I talk about this in some more depth. As for your song, what song have I dedicated to you? Well, I have dedicated, there were, there were a couple of songs actually that came up for your sign. Uh, for some signs, it was really easy. Like Aries, it was just like, boom, I know it. And Sagittarius was really easy as well. And I had to shortlist a couple of songs for you. One of them was uh, by Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me. And that's a really good legacy sort of song. And Saturn is very much about legacy. And if you look at the film clip and the quality of the clip and the style of the photography and all of that, and it just kind of matched. It was just Saturnian. I just thought, yeah, this, this works. But then I came to something even better. And when I looked into this song and I read the lyrics, I was just like, oh, wow, this, this is it. This is the one. So your song is Good Riddance by Green Day. And I've got a note here saying, if Saturn could write a song, this would be it. If Saturn, well, that's what I said to, about the Capricorn song. I said, if Saturn could write a song, this would be it. And that was Desiree, you gotta be. Uh, but for you guys, I'm saying, if Saturn could morph into a man and pick up a guitar and sing and be on the film clip and do everything, well then, this would be it. This is the ultimate Saturnian song. And we're going to go through the lyrics one by one. And for this song, I am actually going to read every single line because this is like a poem that you do not break. And I'm actually going to do that for this because it is so beautiful and it is so perfect and it's so Saturnian. And we're going to get into it. So I think I'll just read it once and then I'll pick it apart bit by bit. So another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang them on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. What a beautiful song. This is just incredible and it's so Saturnian that it's unbelievable. I, I delivered this, all of these videos on another channel um, actually and so I'm kind of going through these notes again after quite some time. But even right now I'm, I'm just struck again by how Saturnian this is. Let's, let's pick it apart and I'll show you a little bit more why. Another turning point of fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. Time. Who is time? It's old father time. It's Saturn, right? The karmic accountant who goes around very slowly and he, he goes forward and then he goes back and he checks everything and he makes sure, you know, that you are paying your karma, right? And he is old father time who goes around. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So this is the place in our lives where, you know, and I, really one of the things I think about this is that Saturn's delivering an apology through this song. So we'll get into that a little bit more as well. But as old father time, he grabs you by the wrist and he directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. This is not something you want to do, right? Time is grabbing you by the wrist and you're off in Hollywood as a successful screenwriter. You're having the time of your life. You're very, very happy. You're earning loads of money, but then time grabs you by the wrist and says, all right, enough of that. You've got a sick parent that you have to nurse 
and it's, it's going to be really hard. And you're the only person who can do it. And life is arranged in such a way that only you can do it and you have to drop all of that that you're doing that's lots of fun, that you're enjoying. You have to leave that and you have to come and do this very difficult thing that you probably don't want to do. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. Wow, that's, that's a hard line there, you know, don't ask why. Because you imagine that situation, you're having the time of your life and then, okay, you've got to go over and do this now. And Saturn's saying, don't ask why. That's tough. Um, that, that is really tough. And this thing of why, why me, why me? You know, Saturn hears that all the time. Of course he does. He's, he's just the karmic accountant who's going around doing his job. And yet he's copying all the flack for it. You know, he's getting in trouble for it. He's getting a bad reputation for it. He's just getting a, a bad reputation for what? For doing his job. It's like the parking attendants who will go around to the cars and they'll be like, okay, well, this one's out of time, so I'm going to put a little fee on this car, you know. And then that poor parking attendant gets... People swear at them or are horrible to them. I think that's obscene. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't. That person's just doing their job. You know, that's that's what they're meant to do. And and if there are rules and you have to park your car somewhere else, well then, you better get back to your car and park it somewhere else. Uh, and that is how I feel about Saturn. I feel like he's just doing his job. You know, and we ask, oh, why me? Why me? And through this song, he's saying, look, you know, time grabs you by the wrist. I'm going to take you somewhere possibly where you don't want to go. But believe me, he's saying, pay the debt. Clear it now. And then you're going to have a great time. Pay it now. Don't pay it later. Pay it now because you're going to have to pay it. So he's saying, don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. And that line is just so sweet. It's just so, this whole thing is so sweet. This whole thing is an apology from Saturn, I believe. He's saying, look, I know this is tough and believe me, I don't want to have to do this, but I, I do my job is what Saturn's saying, you know, and we should rise up to that and say, yeah, I'll do my job too. Okay, give me the karma, I'll pay it. I'll do it. You know, I can, I can take it. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang them on a shelf in good health and good time. Enjoy yourself. You know, Saturn's saying, look, you know, you're having a good time now. Congratulations, but value it. Value every single thing that's going well for you now. You know, that's wisdom talking. That's wisdom. Hang them on a shelf in good health and good time. You're well now, you're happy now, I'm not bothering you now. Me, Saturn, as a karmic accountant, I'm not bothering you. So here's a tip, <laughs> you know, do what you can in good health and good time. Enjoy yourself right now because, you know, and maybe he's not going to come to you with some karma to pay. You know, at one point he's going to come to you and take your life. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, we go, you know, value the time. It's on, it's running, it's running out. We don't get it back. We don't get any of these days back. That's a really important realization to have. Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial for what it's worth. It was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable. But in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. So beautiful. Now, Aquarius, as with every sign, I go through each sign and I say what's great about your sign. So what's great about your sign? Oh, my goodness, where do I even begin? I mean, your motto is I universalize. You know what I mean? You guys are such powerful beings, such capable and powerful beings. Uh, to have a lot of Aquarian energy means that you embody, you embody a lot of wisdom, 
a lot of wisdom. And where does all of this wisdom come from? It's all the wisdom of where we've traveled. We've gone through all this. You embody the whole thing. You embody all the wisdom that comes out of all of these facets of life. You know, Pisces really embodies every single little thing, but you, there's a, there's a slight distinction. You embody it in a more practical, real-worldly sort of a way. Hence the suit-wearing hippie. Hence the man who's working in the bank but is thinking about humanity. You know, it's, um, there's a more practicality, there's a more worldliness going on here. You know, this is also the house of hopes and wishes. And um, I did want to say something a little bit about that, hopes and wishes. You know, yes, I have seen charts where the 11th house is stunning and those people are earning loads of money and, um, you know, they're just getting gifts through the mail every day and every, you know, if they want to buy a car, they go and buy a car and this, that, and it's all wonderful and it's all happening. You know, there are some people who get a dream run and the 11th house is probably very good. I have seen that, but there's another side to the 11th house and that is because we've got Saturn here and depending on placements and depending on how things pan out and, and depending on the structure of people's lives and all sorts of things, sometimes this is a tough house too. And hopes and wishes, what are the kind of hopes and wishes that are being generated constantly? You know, and that's where the humanitarian thing comes in here because there are so many hopes and wishes of just basic things. Every time someone goes hungry, every time, um, you know, you're kind of scrambling to pay the rent, every time things get a bit tough, you know, you're automatically shooting off hopes and wishes for pretty basic things. And I do think that's coming out of coming out of this house. Uh, so what is great about Aquarius? Well, I mean, yeah, as I said, so many things: power, connection with humanity, ability to heal collective consciousness. There are different places in the zodiac where healing happens. I do think healing of the physical body very much happens in the sixth house. Uh, emotional trauma type healing happens in the eighth as well as you know physical um kind of surgery type things happen in the eighth house i tend to think what kind of healers are aquarians i think they heal the collective consciousness and i've got a couple of examples of that michael jackson uh, who healed the world through music very famous aquarian through the sidereal vedic system he has a song, Heal the World, Make It a Better Place, for you and for me and the entire human race. I mean, an Aquarian has written those lines. Uh, he, he's a very good example of Aquarian energy. And I, I'm pretty sure maybe in the Western system he's either Leo or Virgo. I think he might even be very early Virgo. But the sidereal system, the ascendant is calculated differently and we see things from the moon it's, it's just different there so he's he's an aquarius through the sidereal vedic there's another person here robin williams robin williams is a great example of somebody who healed the collective consciousness through comedy he made us all laugh and he's got a terrific pretty sure it's moon in satta bishak if i haven't got that uh incorrect but definitely there's a lot of aquarian energy there for me to have put a note here, it means I checked that and uh, that must be true. <laughs> I've got a note here that you have a true ability to sit with the common man, the suffering man, any kind of man. You have an open connection to every level of society. That is very true. And in fact, a good example of that is Princess Diana. She had strong Aquarian energy. I'm pretty sure in her... I am going to check this one because I haven't got a note here. And I'm pretty sure she is, it's her fourth house that I'd want to be looking at in her natal chart. Yes, indeed. Moon K2 conjunction. Yeah, yeah. Prominent, very prominent Aquarius energy there with her. So now, Aquarius, if I have a tip for you, what would that tip be? Well, as with all signs, I've been encouraging them to head into their polar opposite. And your polar opposite is... Leo. 
Oh dear, this is a bit messy. Hang on. Your polar opposite is Leo up here. Summertime. Good times, summertime. So my tip for you, Aquarius, is when you're next having dinner, for no reason at all, and that's important, for no reason at all, I want you to order a glass of champagne. How about that? <laughs> and you don't have to, but if you do, just enjoy it. There doesn't need to be a reason. You know, you can just, just do that for the sake of doing it. You know, there, there doesn't need to be an, a reason or an occasion or none of that. You can just do that and you can just have fun. I'm not saying you don't have fun. Look at Robin Williams. He, he was having fun all the time. He's making the whole world have fun. This is a terrific part of the zodiac. It is very complicated. I could talk for another hour about this energy. It, it is very profound. Uh, and, you know, in this short space, I've been able to do so much, but there is a lot more to say. So um, you are a very, very special part of the zodiac Aquarius. You are much loved and, um, you know, vital. And you might not think that you're doing much. That's the other weird thing, you know, you probably kind of thinking, well, what am I doing here, you know, or, or you know, but your being, your presence, just the fact that you are emitting your beautiful Aquarian energy here on earth and being that, you know, and if you're being peaceful and you got that humanitarian thing going, that is a tremendous contribution to all of humanity. Just that, just that alone, you know, you're balancing things out just by being, just by being peaceful and a humanitarian, which you are. That is a huge service in itself to the world. So please just keep doing that. You are truly special. And I hope you can celebrate in an extravagant way for no reason at all. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you will. Maybe you might. I don't know. You might be off rescuing somebody or something I don't know but I really do think my tip is go out and have some fun all right well thank you so much Aquarius for stopping by thank you for watching this video and if you like you're very welcome to join me in the next sign which is Pisces so thanks for watching and perhaps I'll see you in Pisces